Okay, so we will now go with uh, today. It's a very special or it's important uh, lesson today. So I want you to have your notes with you. If you are taking down, must have you must have your notebook or your notes and with a pen. Uh, because today we're going to learn how to conjugate the verb, okay? After the grammars that we've learned before, like the des, the, the particles, so this time uh, it's about time for you to know how to conjugate the verb, okay? So I'm going to share. Okay, so... We are now in the verb conjugation. Why uh, I choose to teach this uh, today? Because uh, before uh, we started, in the old class, we started the uh, sentence structure, okay, which is the SOV. And, and, uh, but uh, I prefer to teach this before the sentence structure so that you would know if you were going to construct your sentence, you would already know how to conjugate the verb, okay? So it will not be confusing to you. It will, it will not be uh, confusing to you how you are going to use the verb at the end of your sentence, okay? So prepare your notes and your ball pen. How many we are? 31, okay? And if you have any question in the, uh, if you have any question, you can just ask question or raise your hands so that uh, we could um, at least discuss, okay? So we have now here the verb conjugation, okay? The verb, how to conjugate verb in Japanese. how to conjugate verb in Japanese, okay? But first, let us know uh, uh, to remember again what is a verb, okay? Because verb is important in a sentence. Verb is an action word, yes. Describe verb is action state and occurrence. Occurrence, yes. Verb is a word used to describe an action, okay? Remember this. Anything that is action, it is a verb, okay? Anything that is in action, it means it is verb or state or occurrence and forming the main part of the predicate of a sentence, okay? If you remember your sentence, the, the element of your sentence, we have the subject, and the predicate in English, okay? The subject is where the noun is there. Like for example, the place, the people, or the person, or the things. So that is your, that is your subject. And like what we um, uh, study before, we have watashiwa. Remember, that is your subject means I am, although the watashiwa is a pronoun, pronoun like he, she, I, you, uh, but the subject is uh, the watashi. And then we have the particle wa, which is the subject marker, okay? And now, uh, what the verb is saying is to complete the sentence, you need a subject and you need a predicate. And the predicate is always or uh, mostly a verb, okay, a verb. So for example, Anna is dancing, okay. Um, Anna is eating or Anna is running. So that is a verb. You know? means it is an action. So that is your verb. Now, why do we need to conjugate the Japanese verb? Okay, Japanese is a language whose verbs needs to conjugate. Why? 
Okay? First, the fun fact about the Japanese language is there is no future tense. Okay. Do you remember in your English, you have your present, future, and your past tense. Okay. The, the present, the future, and the past tense. But in Japanese, there is no future tense. We only have two tenses in Japanese, and that is the present tense and the past tense. Again, I repeat, in Japanese language, there is no future tense, and we only have two tenses in Japanese, and that is the present tense and the past tense. So maybe you would ask, how would I say, I will eat ramen, for example. I will eat ramen. The I will, will is the future, okay? I will eat ramen. So I will, so how can I say that in Japanese? So, um, uh, in Japanese language, we said that there are only two tenses. It is the present and the past tense. Okay. And it's very confusing to understand whether the verb is in present or in future. Okay. Like, for example, the word to eat. To eat means taberu. Okay. Taberu. So, how can I use the word taberu in present? And how can I use the word taberu in future? Okay. Of course, for example, uh, if you're going to make uh, a sentence, for example, uh, I will go to the market tomorrow. Of course, that will be in English. Okay. Of course, it will be... Uh, Future, because of the word tomorrow, okay? Or I, or I, or let's say I'm going to wash my clothes at uh, two p.m. today. So, for example, it's ten o'clock in the morning, but uh, you said I'm going to wash my clothes at two p.m. today. So, how are you going to say that? Because it is a future action, right? So it's very hard uh, in Japanese language, it's very hard to, um, to emphasize whether it is a present or a future unless you will add some uh, uh, specific time like uh, now or tomorrow or the next week or the next month. So it's, uh, it, it is understandable that in your sentence, uh, it will be future tense because of the the tomorrow or the 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 days that you're going to add in your sentence. Okay, so for example, ashtani supani ikimas, ashtani supani ikimas. Okay, or you can say ashtani uh, Tokyo ni ikimas, for example. Or, ashita ni lahor ni ikimas. Okay? Ashita ni lahor ni ikimas. I will go to lahor tomorrow. So, that is a future tense. Okay? Or, uh, banggohan o watara um, supa ni ikimas. After I finish my dinner, when I finish my dinner, I will go to the supermarket. Okay? That is a future action. Now, in number three, okay, let's say, ima ramen o tabemas. Ima, ima ramen o tabemas. I am eating ramen now. So, it is a present tense because you are doing the action now. So, that is a present. Or let's say, mai nichi teribibangumi o mimas. My nichi teribi bangumi o mimas. I watch TV programs every day. 
So it is also a future tense. Uh, I mean, a present tense. Okay. So the first and second sentence that we had, Ashtani Lahore ni Kimas. I will go to Lahore tomorrow. Banggohan otabe watara supani kimas. I will go to the supermarket after I finish my dinner. And then the third and the fourth is a present tense. I'm eating ramen now. Ima ramen o tabetemas. And my ni chiterebi bangumi o mimas. I watch TV program every day. So it's very hard to distinguish because there is uh, no uh, particular way to know if it is a future or present. The word ikimas is to go. So I will go to, the su to Lahore tomorrow. Okay. I will go to the supermarket tomorrow. Supani ikimas, okay? And then ramen o tabemas. Okay? I'm eating ramen now. So there's no distinction on how you would know if it is a present or a future. Now, why do we need to conjugate a verb? In Japanese, uh why we conjugate is because we, uh, by conjugating the verb, we can make different expressions, okay? This includes speaking in a polite way, by saying something is going on, expressing one's will or intention, and issuing orders to others, okay? Then, for example, the polite way, okay? I told you Japanese... Uh, language is uh, a very polite uh, way. Japanese people, they are very polite in their uh, speaking, in their delivering their words. So we can express by conjugating our verb into the polite way. Like, for example, uh, the verb walk. To walk, okay? To walk in Japanese, in the verb is aruku. aruku. If you're going to change that to the polite way, it will be arukimas. It's a polite way. Okay? It, it, yeah. From the aruku, it will become arukimas. It will become the mass form. Okay? Uh, 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 we're going to discuss that later. Or if you want to say something like, he is walking. Okay, the girl is walking. Ona no ko arite imas. Okay, you can say that in your te form, arukimas or arite imas. Again, this is another way of polite form, but this is in your te form. Okay, later on, we will discuss this. Or if you want to express your intention to walk or the volitional form of the verb, and say, aruko, okay, aruko, or aruite. You know, the aruko is already a one sentence for them. They understand this. But this is a casual way, casual or informal way, aruko. Okay, if you want this aruko to become polite again or with a... Uh, favor, uh, to do something, you can say, aruite kudasai. Again, this is in your te form, or aruke, or aruite kudasai, okay? So that is the beauty of the Japanese verb conjugation. You can express it through polite way, casual way, or in different way uh, of how you want to express it. It can be in a command, like aruite kudasai. Okay, you are saying, please walk. Okay, you are asking somebody to walk. So aruite kudasai. It's in a polite way. If you want to be rude or if you want to be um, in a casual way, aruko or aruite can also be 
do. Okay? So that is the beauty of the conjugation of Japanese verb. Okay? So first, before we conjugate, what are the things that you should know first? Okay? In order to know how to conjugate a verb in Japanese, first you must know which group it belongs to. Okay? Verbs in the same group obey the same rules or pattern when you conjugate them. Okay. We are saying here that the Japanese verb has a three categories. Or we have three categories of Japanese verb. Japanese verb are divided into three groups. Okay, remember this. This is very important because you, uh, you should remember this so that you would know how to conjugate and because, because this has a rules or pattern that you should uh, follow. Okay, so the first verb is what we called the ru dropping verb or also known as the v2 verbs or ichidan verb okay ru dropping verb or ichidan verb okay for example why we call this a ru dropping verb uh, ru are you okay ru ru dropping verb why we call this as a ru dropping verb for example the word or the verb to eat. In Japanese dictionary, you can find this as taberu. It ends in ru. Hiragana ru. Okay? Hiragana ru. Do I have an example of hiragana? Okay, this is the ru in, in hiragana. Okay? Ru. So, we call this the, the ru verb, okay? So, to eat is taberu, to sleep is neru, to wake up is okiru. And this verb, you can find this in a, Japan, in a Japanese dictionary. This is their plain form or their dictionary form. I highlighted the ru so that you would know this ends in ru. Okay? Ru. Next. The other category of Japanese verb is what we called the last hiragana changing verb or your u verbs, also known as your godan verb. Okay? The first is the ichidan verb or the ru dropping verb. The next is your U verbs. U, also known as your Godan verb. Now, why we call this as a U <laughs> verb? Why we call this as a U verbs? Because they end in U. U, in dictionary. Hiragana, uh, uh, hiragana dictionary. Okay? Okay, like for example, to read, it means yomu. It ends in u. Okay? To walk is it ends in u. To swim is oyogu. Again, it ends in u. Okay? So these are the verb for the u verbs or godan verb i highlighted it so that you would uh, know okay and then we have the third one is the irregular verb or the v3 verb okay uh, the irregular verb i think has only three kind of verb okay and uh Okay, why they are irregular? Because they are not following any pattern. Unlike the ru verb, the ichidan verb, or the godan verb, the u verb, 
they they have pattern to uh, follow while the irregular verb they don't have any pattern to to follow okay so for example the to do is suru to go is iku to come is kuru okay even though they end in you maybe you would ask they can be fall in the you verbs okay because they end in you suru iku kuru okay but uh, there are exemptions okay and they do not follow any pattern okay they have their own pattern <laughs> they have their own world world okay so okay any question so far any question no i'm co i have i'm going to continue is it okay okay so those okay so those are the three categories of verb okay just remember this you have to remember this because all of this belongs um, on how you are going to conjugate you should know first where the verb uh, categories come from is uh, do they come from the rude dropping verb do they come from the u verb or do they come from irregular verbs? So you have to uh, remember these three categories of the verb. Now, I'm going to present to you for you to be to easy and to remember easily. I have, I, I created this uh, table, the conjugation table and their meaning in English. Okay. So first we have the affirmative and the negative maybe for those new students uh, like the janai the nai we always say that before genki deska genki janai or genki ja arimasen genki dewa arimasen and we always say that that is the negative form of how you would say not to do so this is it now okay your negative form it all falls here all the not i will not uh did not did not will not do not doing also falls here in your negative form now in your affirmative or we call this also positive for you not to be confused, I put the positive here because we have the positive and we have the negative. Okay. So the affirmative positive, these are all the present. The present. Okay. And then we have here the plain form, the non past or the present, the past tense. Again, there is no future, if you would notice. The present, the past, only the present or the past tense. Okay? And in English, we translate this in, in your present or the non-past. Non-past. When, uh, please be uh, um, familiar with this. Okay? Sometimes if I say, put your verb in a plain form non past form okay so this is your plain form non past it means this is your present okay or i if i will say put your verb into negative form past tense so you will go to your negative past tense which is did not do so anyway so <clears throat> we have the present and the past it means do or will do okay i told you it is hard to distinguish if it is present or future okay but the future always falls in the present present tense okay and then we have the past tense 
the did or was. Okay. And then we also have the negative, will not do, did not do. Now, we have here the formal form. Formal form, okay? Uh, you, we always say, Ohio gozai mas. When we say the mas, this is what you call the formal form. Okay? Formal form. So we also have the non-past under your formal form. Do, or the same, do or will do. Negative is will not do. And we also have your past tense. The did or was and did not do. So we can say that in the plain form, this is a casual. Casual. Okay. So all of here, your affirmative and your negative under the plain form, this is your casual form. And in your formal form, here, we can say this is the polite way of your speaking, polite way of how you speak, or the, the manner of how you speak, okay? So remember that. And then we have the te form. The te form, uh, this is uh, translated as nani-nani-ing, uh, okay? For example, I am eat. Thing. The ing in the English. I am dancing. I am singing. Okay, this is your te form. And then in your negative also, there is the not nani nani ing. I am not singing. I am not dancing. I am not drinking. Okay, and then we have your conjunctive form. Okay, the conjunctive form, uh, we will get only the V stem or the stem of the verb. Stem of the verb, okay? And then we can add here a lot of uh, command verb, volitional verb with your V stem, okay? But this will be another uh, lesson, okay? So this is how... We are going to make the conjugation with this table, okay? So first thing to know is, uh, okay, I understand the table. What is the plain form? Okay, the plain form again, we say that it is the dictionary. Uh, you can find the verb in a dictionary form, okay? The plain form or the basic form is the form that you can find in dictionary, like the taberu, it is uh, in the dictionary. Or the yomu, to read. Okay. <clears throat> and also, like what I said, we have the formal form. This one, the formal form. We call this the mass form. The mass form of a verb. And usually, uh, this is the most used conjugation in a Japanese verb. Okay, it is an auxiliary verb that emphasizes politeness. Again, the mass form, okay, or the formal form, the politeness, like your des. Do you remember your des? And the mass, okay? Like, for example, from the word to eat, Taberu, which is, which is casual, will become now formal. Tabemas. For example, the word yomu, to read, casual, dictionary form. If we put it in the mass or formal form, it will be yomimas. So the mass. Okay, this one, the mass form, okay? 
And also we have the te form, okay? Like, like what we are saying, the te form here. The te form um, uh, is the ing form of the verb or the, uh, like what I said, the dancing, singing. Uh, this is this form is very important to know because it can emphasize the acts you do at the moment. That is the present tense. The things that you do at the moment. Okay. So, for example, we have Watashi wa tabemas. I am eating, or I will eat. If this one is present under the te form because it is eating okay or i will eat this is a uh, future tense because of the word will but in japanese watashi wa tabemasu it can be present it can be future okay watashi wa tabemasu okay or watashi wa tabete imas. I am eating. I am eating. Watashi wa tabete imas. Okay, we will have a div, uh, another lesson for this, for this te. Okay, because the te has a lot of use. Okay, so tabete imas can also be, tabemas can also be, what else? There, there is also tabe, tabereru, tabereru. There's a lot of uh, word that we can, uh, or uh, what do you call that, auxiliary verb that we can connect with this, okay? So, also in the te form, you could add the kudasai, okay? Kudasai, you already know the kudasai, right? Uh, if you want to ask for something, uh, ringo kudasai. Can I have an apple? Okay, or can you give me an apple? Ringo o kudasai. So, in the te form also, in the verb, under the te form, you could also use the word kudasai. Like, for example, uh, nete kudasai. Please sleep. Okay, you are actually you are asking uh, him to sleep or her to sleep. Okay, tabete uh, kudasai. Please eat. Okay, or uh, what else? Hashite kudasai. Please run. Okay, hashiru to run. Under your te form, hashite, and then add the word kudasai. <coughs> And now we have the negative form again, as what I said you, I told you here, the negative form. Under your negative form, uh, this is the opposite of the affirmative, or which is the positive that gives us the action did not do or will not do. And the conjunctive form, okay? The conjunctive form, we will have a different uh, lesson for this. Because the conjunctive form, we will get only the stem, the stem of the verb. Like for example, taberu is to eat. We will get only tabe, which is your stem. Okay, for example, wake up, okiru, we will get the stem and we will get only oki. For to sleep, for example, we will get the ne as your stem. And then we will connect here another uh, auxiliary verb. Okay? So that is your conjunctive verb. That is for your godan verb or the last or the ru verb. Okay? Now for your I, for the u, u ending verb, change the U. Add the I, the yomu, we will get the stem yom, and then add the I, we will get yomi. That is your pattern, okay, under your U ending verb. 
the aruku, get the stem, aruk, add the i, becomes aruki. Okay? And then, so that that's all the explanation for your table. Okay? Again, we have the affirmative. We have the negative. Negative represents all the negative or the uh, the I will not or the not, the nai, janai, dewa nai, dewa arimasen, falls all under the negative. Okay, and then the positive, under your plain form, we have your dictionary form present, which is the do or will do, and the past tense. Past tense, I know you know this because uh, the action was done already. The action was done. It is finished. So that is did or was. Okay. Same with the formal form. We have the non-past, past and the past tense. Only we, uh, from the casual way, we will convert it into a formal way or polite way. Okay. And your te form and your conjunctive form. So, मैं तो इन सब को इन इनको भी फोकस करता हूँ लेकिन वो आगे वाला मैं थोड़ा एक्सप्लेन करने की कोशिश करूँगा ठीक है? ओके थैंक यू सर नो प्रॉब्लम एनीबॉडी एल्स के वर्ब जो है ना जैसे आप जो इंग्लिश को अच्छी तरह समझते हैं आप जानते हैं कि जो डिक्शनरी फॉर्म होती है इसको ये के ये डिक्शनरी फॉर्म उसकी कंडीशंस के मुताबिक इस्तेमाल करते हैं तो हम उसको चेंज करते हैं जैसे खाना खाया खाते खाऊंगा खाना जो है खाऊंगा और ऐसे مختلف जो है चीजों में वो चेंजिंग होती है तो बिल्कुल इसी तरह ये जो इसकी ओरिजिनल फॉर्म है फॉर एग्जांपल ताबिर जो है ता ताबिर ताबिर जो है वो खाना है उसका मतलब खाना है टू ईट खाना है लेकिन वो जो जब हम चेंजिंग करेंगे इनको मुख्तलिफ फॉर्म में तो उसमें ये कि अगर प्लेन फॉर्म जो है वो रू जो हटा देंगे ताबे मस ताबे मश्ता और जैसे सिस्टर ने कहा ताबे नहीं तो इस तरीके से वो नेगेटिव फॉर्म आती है और जो ते फॉर्म वो बार बार बोल रहे वो एक्चुअली जब कोई भी रिक्वेस्ट हम करते हैं दुर्खास्त करते हैं हम किसी को तो उसमें हम ते फॉर्म लगाते हैं इसलिए उसके साथ कूदा साई भी लगाते हैं यानी प्लीज का लफ्ज भी लगा देते हैं तो अभी हम प्लेन फॉर्म और फॉर्मल फॉर्म जो उन्होंने बताया है प्लेन फॉर्म जो है वो बिल्कुल सादा है जो हम आम तौर पे जो हमारे बहुत करीबी होते हैं जिनके साथ हम बहुत ही यूज्ड टू होते हैं और दोस्त होते हैं या हमसे छोटे होते हैं उनको उनके लिए हम लफ्ज इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं वो लेकिन जो फॉर्मल है तो उसके लिए जो रस्मी तौर पे बोला जाता है या पुलाइट हम इसको जापानीज में बोलते हैं इधर इस चीज का बड़ा ख्याल रखा जाता है तो ये है कि फॉर एग्जांपल ताबिर का ताबेता या ताबे ताबे मस होता है मैंने खाया ताबेता ताबेता जो है वो पास्ट टेंस है ताबेता लेकिन जब हम उसको फॉर्मल में आते हैं तो ताबे मशता या ताबे मस जो है प्रेजेंट है ताबे मशता जो है वो पास में आता है तो ये इस टेबल में ये सारी चीजें बताए बताएगी कि एक लफ्ज जो है जब वो मुख्तलिफ टेंसेस में या मुख्तलिफ जगह पे इस्तेमाल होता है तो उसको किस तरीके से हम वेरी सिंपली रू जो है पहले उसको उड़ा देते हैं और उसके साथ उसके मुताबिक टेंस के हिसाब से के मुताबिक हम उसको इस्तेमाल करते हैं तो एक वेरी सिंपल बात उन्होंने बताई है कि प्रेजेंट टेंस और जो फ्यूचर टेंस है यानी आपने फ्यूचर टेंस के बारे में फिक्रमंद नहीं होना 
वो आपके जो ऐसे लफ्ज आप इस्तेमाल करेंगे वो उसको फ्यूचर में कन्वर्ट करेगा और पास्ट और प्रेजेंट और पास्ट के बारे में आपने फिक्रमंद होना है तो इसलिए जब भी जो भी आप की वर्ब होगी क्योंकि इसके बाद जो है फिर वो हम वोकेबलरी जो होगी वर्ब्स जो है वो भी आपको देंगे और आप याद करेंगे और बाद में हम जब फिक्रे बनाएंगे तो आपके लिए आसानी हो जाएगी क्योंकि जो भी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ये है कि हम पहले रू के बारे में देख लेते हैं वो ये रू जो लफ्ज है जैसे मैंने कहा था इकबाल एंड में मेरे नाम के एल आता है लेकिन जैपनीस में चूंकि एल नहीं है वो इकबाल रू रू बोलते हैं तो ऐसे ही ये जो वर्ब है इनके आगे ये लफ्ज आर यू जो है ये एक हरफ है एक अल्फाबेटिक है जैपनीज का तो वो चूंकि अभी हम अल्फाबेटिक बाद में करेंगे तो फिर आपको समझ आ जाएगी तो ये रू जो है इसको हटाना है सिंपल सिंपल जो डिक्शनरी फॉर्म है उसमें से हमने रू को हटाकर उसको हमने दूसरे टेंस के मुताबिक हमने उसको चेंज करना है वर्ब को ना तो ये ताबिर जो है रू जब हटा देंगे तो इसकी जगह पे ये है कि ये कैटेगरी वन जो है इसमें रू फॉर्म भी आता है और ये जो युम ये भी जिसमें सिर्फ यू अकेला होता है वो भी इसी कैटेगरी में आता है सिर्फ पहला रू है और दूसरा यू है जैसे युम है युम और ये आरुक इनमें आपने एंड पे जो यू है इसको खत्म करना लेकिन उसके बारे में आपको हम बताएंगे कि जब अकेला यू है उसको चेंज करना है तो उसके साथ उसको कैसे इस्तेमाल करना है क्योंकि यू में तो अगर रीड है तो इसको वेरी सिंपल प्लेन फॉर्म जो अगर हम प्रेजेंट कहते हैं तो योमी योमी मस यो मी उसमें आई साथ हम लगाएंगे यू की जगह योमी मस योंदा यो तो ये है कि पास टेंस जो है उसके लिए फर्क है और आरुकी मस फिर उयोगी मस यू जो हटा के हम आई लग, आई का इस्तेमाल करते हैं प्लीज एक्सक्यूज भी तो ये जो है हम आपको इसके बारे में बताएंगे रू जो है आर यू रू को हटाना है फिर यू को हटाना है और फिर उसके बाद ये जो तीसरा नंबर है इसमें वर्ब जो है ये जो है इसमें ये रेगुलर नहीं होता कि इसमें रू आएगा यू आएगा या उन सब को उन्होंने इकट्ठा एक ग्रुप बना दिया हुआ है तो उनके लिए अलग तरीका कार है ऊपर वालों के लिए अलग तरीका कार है जैसे मैंने कहा योम योमी मस जो है योम जो है ये योमी मस में आएगा योंदा आ जाएगा यानी पास्ट टेंस में जब हम उसको बोलें चेंज करेंगे कैसा है योमी मस था योमेनाई और फिर ये कि योंदे कुदस आई योंद ते जो है वो कैसे ते फॉर्म इसकी बनती है इसकी फर्क है पहले वाले की फर्क है थोड़ा सिस्टर जस्ट प्लीज लिटल अप दैट वन इेगुलर to do sur she ik to ye jo hai ye sur jo hai ye shimas mein aa jata hai aur ik ikimas ikimashta pur khimas khimashta to ye chunke irregular hai iske liye आगे चल के हम आपको बताएंगे कि ये कैसे चेंज इनको करना है ना ओके सिस्टर सिस्टर आई थोट अप टू दिस पॉइंट यस 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 ओके ओके थैंक यू ओके मे बी यू आर कंफ्यूज ओके आई नो यू आर कंफ्यूज बिकॉज बिकॉज एक्सप्लेन यट द अदर वन वाई इट्स happening this way you know 
Yes, and yes. Later on, we're going to explain. Little by little, you're going to know. Okay, little by little, you are going to know how to use the ru or the ichidan verb and then the u verb here and then the regular verb. So li little by little, that's why we are, uh, 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 what do you call this? We are now uh, going to show you how to conjugate first the ru, okay? The ru dropping verb, okay? For you to understand more, okay? So how to conjugate the first category, which is the ru dropping verb, okay? Or the ichidan verb. Okay, what are the root wrapping verbs? They are regular verbs. And why they are root wrapping verbs? Because they end in dictionary form written in hiragana. If you have dictionary with you and you will look for the word to eat, this will come out in your dictionary. Taberu. Okay, this, this is hiragana, taberu. And the ru here is, this one is ru, okay? You're going to learn this when you are writing your hiragana, don't worry. So this is taberu, means to eat, okay? In, in uh, Romaji or alphabet, uh, alpha, uh, Japanese alphabet, taberu. This is hiragana. Taberu. This is your dictionary form, ru, under the ru. And then, if you will look again for the word to sleep, which is neru, you will going to find the dictionary form in your dictionary, the neru, this one, neru. Neru means to sleep. And then the wake up is okiru, okiru. Again, you're going to uh, see the okiru in the dictionary form. In your dictionary, this one, okiru, okiru. So they are the ru ending verb, okay? The ru, this one, the ru, okay? I'm going to give this to you all the ru verb don't worry we have a lot of ru verb like this like this we have the all this under the ru verb okay don't worry so first we're going to conjugate the ru dropping verbs okay remember this is ru okay first Category or godan verb. Dictionary from hiragana ru, okay, ends in ru. Okay, to conjugate, you will just drop the ru. And this is your table. This is the pattern, okay? I know you are all confused. But just remember this pattern. Okay? In the root word, like what we are saying, under the dictionary form, like the taberu is here, you're going to put it here. Taberu. The dictionary form. Okay? Taberu. For your negative... We'll just add the nai for your past tense. Drop the ru and you will add the ta. And then under your negative also, nakata. Again, this is, what I'm saying is this is a casual way. Casual way, okay? Now, if you go in your mass or formal form, 
Just add the mass. This one, the mass. For your negative is masen. For your pass is mashta. For your negative, masen deshta. And then for your te form, te imas. Te imas. Okay? Now let's try to conjugate the word taberu. Okay? Uh, in your ru dropping verb, that's why we call this ru, because the end ru, you will just drop this. You will just drop the ru. Okay? The original meaning, the original word is taberu. Okay? This is what we are saying. You can find this in your dictionary uh, form. Taberu means to eat. Okay? Now, if you're going to conjugate, just drop the ru. In your ne if, if you want to put this in your negative, add the nai. And it will become tabenai, which means I will not eat. Okay? Again, from the uh, dictionary form or your original word, or shall we say, the plain form word, the casual word, taberu, again, drop the ru. If you want to get your past tense, add the ta, it will become tabeta. Tabeta. In your negative form, casual way again, drop the ru. Add the nakata, tabe nakata. Now, if you want it to become formal, your mass form under your present tense, drop again the ru, get only the tabe, and you add the mass, tabe mas, tabe mas. In your negative, Drop the ru again. Add the masen. Tabe masen. Tabe masen. In your past form, formal or mass form, past form, uh, past tense. Drop the ru. Mashta. Add the, add the mashta. And it will become tabe mashta. In your negative, formal way, past tense, drop the ru again, tabe masen deshta. And then in your te form, drop the ru, add the te, tabe te. You can say this, tabe te kudasai. Tabete imas. I am eating now. Okay? Simple as that. That is your pattern. This one. Negative. Nai. For your past. Nakata. For your formal form. non pass is your masen. Formal form, past tense, masendeshta. Just drop the ru, okay? In your casual way, under the, the original or the root word or the dictionary form, drop the ru, add the ta, it will become past tense. If you want to speak in formal way, again, drop the ru, add the ta. Add the, add the mas. Mas. Masu or mas. Okay? And then for your past tense again, under your formal or mass form, 
drop the rule at the mashta. In the negative, masendeshta. This is your pattern. Okay? If you want to speak in a casual way, this is your casual way. Like the word taberu, tabenai, tabeta, tabenakata. Okay? Tabenai, I will not eat. Tabeta, I, I ate. Tabenakata, I was not, uh, I did not eat. Okay? And then the, the same, it's the same. It's just only the casual and the polite. Okay? The casual and the plain form and then the mass form. Just add mass, mashta, masen, masendeshta. This is your pattern. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One, two minute. Just yes, yes. Yes, sir. Because it's the start, then they will. Yes. Yes, sir. Please. Tabir ka matlab hota hai khana. Koi bhi cheez khana jo hai wo tabir. Yani uski verb hai tabir. To jab hum usko mukhtalif jo present tense hai aur simple affirmative जो उन्होंने बोला है यानी सिंपल वे या सादा तरीके से जब हम बात करते हैं बार बार मैं ये कह रहा हूं कि जो आम तौर पे दोस्तों के साथ या अपने से छोटों के साथ कोई भी लफ्ज बोला जाता है वो उसके लिए ये प्लेन फॉर्म जो है वो इस्तेमाल की जाती है लेकिन जो हमसे बड़े हैं या सीनियर हैं उन उनसे हमने फॉर्मल तरीके से पोलाइट तरीके से बात करनी है तो बात वही है ताबिर जो है जब हम उसको मुख्तलि फॉर्म्स में इस्तेमाल करते हैं तो रू को हम हटा देते हैं वहां से तो जब उसकी नेगेटिव फॉर्म बनेगी ताबे नहीं मैं नहीं खाता ताबे नहीं वेरी सिंपल फॉर्म है ताबे नहीं तो ताबेता जो है खाया खाया यानी पास टेंस है खाया तो ताबे न कत्ता यानी मैंने नहीं खाया पास टेंस मैंने नहीं खाया जो है पास टेंस में ताबे न कत्ता आम सिंपल जो है प्रेजेंट जो है ताबे नहीं और जब पास्ट है ताबे न कत्ता तो यही जो हम रस्मी तौर पे या ये के पोलाइट तरीके से कहते हैं तो उस वक्त हम मस का और मश्ता का इस्तेमाल करते हैं तो वही फॉर्म जो हमने रू हटा के बनाया है ताबे मस खाता हूं ताबे मस खाता हूं ताबे मस है नहीं खाता मस है जो है नेगेटिव फॉर्म है उसकी जब मस लगा होगा उसकी नेगेटिव फॉर्म बनाने के लिए मासे मा से मासे जो है ये नेगेटिव फॉर्म है ताबे मासे आप आगे देखेंगे कि जब मुख्तलिफ हम फॉर्म इस्तेमाल करेंगे तो उसमें जैसे आरुख आरुख की मासे आरुख जो है और इसी तरह मुख्तलिफ जो भी हम आगे जाके जैसे जैसे पढ़ेंगे वो आप देखेंगे कि मस जो है मसे में चेंज हो जाता है और जो सिंपल है ताबे मश्ता ताबे मश्ता क्या के खाया था खाया था तो ताबे मसे दिश्ता दिश्ता ताबे मसे दिश्ता दिश जो है वो दिशता में तब्दील हो जाता है ताबे मश्ता ताबे मसे दिशता ताबे ऊपर हमने कहा ताबे मसे फिर ताबे मसे दिशता दिश जो है दिशता में तब्दील हो जाता है तो ये उसकी फॉर्मल जो है ये नेगेटिव फॉर्म है तो जो ते ते फॉर्म हम कहते हैं ताबे ते हम कहते हैं खाइए प्लीज 
हम किसी को कहते हैं खा, खाना खाइए तो खाना खाइए जो है वो हम रिक्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं तो ये ते फॉर्म रिक्वेस्ट में ही आता है ताबे ते तो अगर हम और पोलाइट तरीके से कहेंगे तो हम क्या कहेंगे जब हम कहते हैं लीजिए या खा, खाइए तो हम कहते हैं बरा मेहरबानी खाइए तो हम क्या कहते हैं ताबे ते कूदा साई प्लीज खाना खाइए तो ताबे ते जब आता है तो उसमें कूदा साई जब हम लगा देते हैं वो और पोलाइट हो जाता है ताबे ते पे फॉर्म जो है ये रिक्वेस्ट में आती है तो ताबे नहीं ताबे ता ताबे न कत्ता ताबे मस ताबे मसें ताबे मशता ताबे मसें दिशता ओके समझ आई है इस बात की ओके 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 सिस्टर प्लीज ओके प्रैक्टिस करेंगे इनको मुख्तलिफ तो आपको समझ आ जाएगी और ना जी ओके थैंक यू सिस्टर नाउ लेट्स हैव अनदर एग्जांपल यस नेहरू ओके नाउ लेट्स हैव द नेहरू मींस टू स्लीप ओके टू स्लीप सो अगेन you are in the ru verb because it ends in ru in your dictionary form neru is to sleep okay again just drop the ru this is your uh, root word or your dictionary form neru drop the ru and then if you want to get the past in your plain form just add the ta it will become past tense neta now in your negative just add the, the nai again drop the ru get only the ne and then add the nai ne nai i will not sleep in your past If this is ta, then again drop the ru. Nena kata. Nena kata. This is the casual. Okay, this is the casual. Now, in the polite way or your formal form, under your non-past, drop the ru. Then add the mas. Ne mas. Nemas, or you you can say nemasu, okay? Nemasu or nemas. In your negative, again drop the ru and just add masen. Nemasen, nemasen. In your past formal form, drop the ru again. Add the mashta. Nemashta, nemashta. And then in your negative form, negative formal form, past form, ne masen deshta. And your te form is ne te. Add the te. Drop the ru, add the te, ne te. Like ne te kudasai. Please sleep. Okay? And your stem. Now we have the stem. It's only ne. Ne. Okay, ne. That's simple as that. Just remember all this. The nai, the ta, ne na kata, ne mas, ne masta, ne masen, ne masen deshta. Simple as that. Now let's have akeru, akeru. To open again, it ends in ru. In your dictionary form, that's why they belong to the ichidan verb or your uh, uh, root dropping verb means to open. You can find it in the dictionary, akeru, to open. Again, if you want to conjugate under your past plain form or casual form, 
drop the rule, just add the ta. Aketa. Aketa. In your negative, akenai. In your past, akena kata. Now, in your formal form, drop again the rule. You will only get ake and then add the mas. Ake mas. Negative, ake masen. In your past, ake mashta. Ake mashta. And then in your negative is ake masen deshta. Your te form is ake te. And this can be your ake te kudasai. Please open. Okay, if you add the word to the side. Conjunctive form is ake. Ake. You drop only the ru and you get the stem. This is now your stem. Okay? Because here we can add a lot of another auxiliary verb. Okay? Now let's put this in a sentence. The akeru to open. <clears throat> For example, uh, Mr. David opens the door at 7 a.m. every day. Mr. David opens the door at 7 a.m. every day. Okay, this is under your affirmative form. Affirmative form, okay. In your plain form, non-pass, sorry, ah, not this one. In your plain form, non-pass, it is akeru. Okay, affirmative. So it could it will be mainichi, which is every day. Gozen, your AM. Sichiji, your 7 AM or 7 o'clock. David Sang, okay, Mr. David. Mr. David Sanga, do wa o. This is a door, okay, the door. Do wa o, your object marker. Akeru. Mr. David opens the door at 7 p.m. every day. Mai nichi, gozen, sichiji. Ni David Sanga do wa o akeru. That is your sentence for your akeru. Affirmative, non past. Okay. Now for your formal, non past. Formal, non past. Formal, non-pass, this one. Akemas, the polite way. Okay. The non-pass here is akeru, which is casual. The non-pass in under your formal is akemas, the polite way. Okay. Here is akeru. Here is akemas. The same sentence mainichi gozen sichiji ni david sanga do wa o akemas polite way akemas okay mainichi gozen sichiji ni david sanga do wa o akeru plain form casual my nichi go sen si chijini David Sanga do wa o akemas polite way. Okay. Now we will go in the plain form past past tense under your casual. Mr. David opened the door at seven a.m. yesterday. Okay, it's easy to understand because you have yesterday. It means this is past. Okay, and opened. Past tense. So, 
your sentence would be Kino, which is yesterday. Kozen, which is your AM. Sichiji, your seven o'clock. David Sanga, okay, David Sang is your subject. Doa, door is the door, okay, door. Doa o, wo, your object, okay, your object marker. Aketa is your past tense. Aketa. Go, kino, go sen si chijini. David Sanga, Doa O, Aketa. Okay, this is your past tense. Just add the ta. Drop the rule and just add the ta. It becomes past tense. Aketa. Now, in your formal, formal style, past tense, the same. Kino, Gozen, Sichijini, David Sango, uh, David Sanga, Doa O, Akemashita. Formal, akemashita, formal past tense. Okay, did you get that now the difference? The, this is your casual, aketa, and your formal, akemashita. Now, this, this is now depend on how you are going to deliver your sentence or how you're going to speak. If you are talking to just your friend, you can, you can use the Casual, okay? Or if you are talking to someone superior to you, uh, higher level uh, level uh, ranking to you, you can use the word akemashita to show your politeness, okay? Now, in your negative form, negative form, plain form, non-past, okay? Plain form, non-past, so it means this is your root word or your... Uh, uh, in your dictionary form, Mr. David will not open, will not open the door at 7 a.m. tomorrow. So under your plain form, non-past, which means this is your present, casual, ashta, which is tomorrow. Gozen or AM Sichiji seven o'clock David Sung, which is your subject Ga door door Doa O O is your object object refers to the door okay your object, object marker. Akenai. 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 Now, if we were going to put this in plain form, non past. Uh, this is not plain form. This is. Ah, okay. Uh, akenai, okay? Now, we will go to the formal form, past tense. The same, ashta, gozen, sichiji, david sanga, doa o, akemasen. Akemasen. The word akenai, under your past plane, under your mass form or your formal form, akemasen. Then we will go okay. Plain form non past Kino Gozen Sichijini David Sanga Doa O Akena Kata. Mr. David did not open the door at seven AM yesterday. Okay. Akena Kata did not open. Now in your formal past. Sense. Kino, Gozen, Sichijini, David Sanga, Doa O, Akemasen Deshta. Under your formal form past tense. 
Okay. Any questions? So now you can see how you are going to conjugate the word or the verb to open. Okay. We use it in different kind of situation. The present. Akeru. Under your casual or non-past. Affirmative. Akemas. Under your formal. Non-past. Under your plain form. Past. Aketa. Okay, under your formal past tense, ake mashta. In your negative form, I will not open. Under your plain form, non pass, ake nai. Formal form, past tense, ake masen. In your plain form, uh, non pass. Ake nakata. And in your formal form, past tense, ake masendeshta. Simple as that. Okay. Aapne English se Japanese mein nahi jana. Aapne Urdu mein direct Japanese mein jana. Har roz subah. Har roz subah. Mai nichi gozen. Shichi ji. 7 o'clock. Har roz subha saat baje. Very simple ho gaya. Us pattern ko bhool jana jo English mein likha hua hai. Hum ne Urdu ke mutabak jana hai kyunke Japanese aur Urdu same hai. Is liye hume problem nahi hogi. Every day mainich har roz subha saat baje shichi ji ni Yani saat baje. David sa, Mr. David. Mai nichi David sa anga. Doa o ake mas. Yakir jo hai wo simple form hai. Ake mas kya sakte hai aap. To ye hai ke urdu ke mutabak aap jab jayenge to पहली बात तो ये है कि डेविड सा जो है चूंकि वो सब्जेक्ट है इसलिए उसके साथ गा लगा है ये आपको पहले भी बताया गया है और डोर जो है ये नाउन है और इसके साथ ओ लगा है बाकी जो है वेरी सिंपल कंस्ट्रक्शन है और अगर ये है कि हर रोज सुबह 7 बजे डेविड सा ने दरवाजा नहीं खोला yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, abhi hum jate hain. Uh, Mr. David opened the door at 7 a.m. yesterday. To hum kya kahenge? Kal subha 7 baje Mr. David ne darwaza khola. Opened. Ye simple form jo hai, khola. To, to jo हम जो मस और मश्ता की फॉर्म में जाएंगे तो उसमें था आएगा है और था आता है ना तो वेरी सिंपल ये है कि कल जो है क्योंकि इंग्लिश में तो सबसे आखिर में यस्टरडे आया लेकिन हम क्या बोलते हैं कल सुबह 7 बजे यानी कल किस कहते हैं कीनो कीनो गोजेन शिची जी नी डेविड सांगा दुआ ओ आके मश्ता मस जो है वो मश्ता में चेंज हो जाएगी आपका पैटर्न वही रहेगा मस जो है वो मश्ता में चेंज हो गया अगर आकेता जो है वो सिंपल फॉर्म है आकेता आके नहीं तो जब मस फॉर्म जो है उसकी नेगेटिव आएगी आके मस हैं तो आके मसे दिशता बाकी सारे वही रहेगा तो इतने की अगर किसी को समझ आई है या नहीं इज इट ओके क्लियर तो यही पैटर्न सब जो हम आगे सीखेंगे वो जाएगा और आप ट्रेंड हो जाएंगे घबराना नहीं है इससे 
भी ये मत समझता और ये क्या क्या बीच में आ गया तो ये सब मजे की बातें हैं आप इंजॉय करेंगे ओके सिस्टर okay, 